aplauso. Thank you, Max. Um, yeah, yeah, I've known John for a long time, and uh, like so many in the room, loved him dearly, uh, even when he did criticise sometimes. Um, yeah, um, so I um, was thinking of a song that John used to like a lot, that I used to sing at the Glengarry, uh, which was uh, called Duke's Song. It was uh, written by Gary Shearston. And of course, if, uh, if Phil Oakes was John's hero, uh, Gary Shearston was probably mine. And so I started to think of the words to the ballad of Duke Tritton and realised that Gary probably wouldn't mind if I stole not only the tune but a fair few of the words as well. And so uh, here's to John uh, and with apologies and thanks to Gary Shearson. <coughs> Come gather round me, people, and listen to me song. I want to tell you of a man whose time has passed and gone. Just in case you never knew him, he was one of the good old time. And I'm glad to say when I sing his song that he was a friend of mine. So long, old Tyler, I'm glad that I knew you so well. John Clough was a builder of houses and friendships too. Cloughy never said a word he didn't believe was true. A man of strong opinions, deep thinker and well-read, he could listen to and smile if you had a different view instead. So long, old timer, I'm glad that I knew you so well. He built Chris Kempster's mountain home and for Shirley Judd a floor. As an artisan and a carpenter, you couldn't never ask for more. Measure twice, cut once, and all was level, straight and true. Just like the wonderful man he was, honest and true blue. So long, old timer, I'm glad that I knew you so well. And now his days are over, and his miles of years gone by. If there isn't a union where he's gone, it's a wonder, Lord, you know. And if the angels are out of tune, or their songs aren't by Phil Oaks, it won't be long before he's got them down, singing to Satan's folks. So long, old timer, I'm glad that I knew you so well. Thank you. Keep it going for Peter Russell, folks. Peter, the sound for Franklin Road for years. We've heard some amazing efforts about Johnny. Terrific poems and songs and things. Uh, that's all going to end now, because my brother Roy is coming up. And me and Elbow are quite dangerous. We have been in the past. So we don't know what's going to happen, but we'll give it a lash. Just ask Tom Henry to come up after this if he's still in the house. Yep.
This, this song is probably about a, as far away from Phil as you can even get. <laughs> but this apparently was one of Johnny's favourite songs. I'll tell you what I'm going for. I'm going down to Rock Island Line, it's a mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is the road to ride. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. If you want to ride it, you got to ride it like a car to get the ticket at the station on the Rock Island Line. Got to know, sing along. Maybe right, and I may be wrong. I know you're going to hurt me when I'm gone. Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. Rock on the line, it's the road to ride. Rock on the line, it's a mighty good road. If you want to ride it, you got to ride it like a car. You can see that it's on the rock on the line. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, actually, that's actually enough of that crap in here. <laughs> I'd like to sing a song, and it's, it's probably um, nothing to do with any of this, <laughs> except for the fact that, <clears throat> that uh, Johnny was in Queensland and he was in the bush. And um, this is a Sheenham song, and it's about a wild bark. Knew uh, everything like Johnny did, and, uh, and me for that matter. And um, <laughs> so it goes like this. <laughs> I'm a stockman in the play, the name is Agus Day. I'm old and grey, and I've only got one eye. In the yard, I've got a toy, but you put me on a horse. I go there once a young and never a toy. Or I can learn and see the kids, you go to country, rough and ready. I'll take them to the very worst of the world. I can ride both rough and easy like a juke up on a game. I'm a right down bobbly, you don't know it in the pub. Just to watch me skin a sheep, hurt so lovely you could weep. I'll have a silver tail till me blood runs blue. So in everything I do, you can cut me fair in two. I'm just too fucking good to be in one. I'm a stockman in me trade, me name is Ugly Dave. I'm old and grey and old. In Central Queensland. I'll just tell you a little story about Johnny. He was working at my brother's place and he was doing a job that was sort of out of his lawn, a bit of plumbing and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, but he can do anything. He'd tell you. <laughs> Which he could. And uh, finish of the job was sort of like a dam cut coming down. There was all this rubble at the bottom and pipes and stuff. So he sort of patched it all up. He trimmed it up, put the trowel over it, cleaned up the cement and stuff. And he looked around the place and he grabbed a hessian bag. He shot that over. He said, that'll, that'll keep their eyes off. <laughs> Throw a bag over, he used to say. That was him, all right. Rex and I and Johnny. Think I need a bit of Guinness. <laughs> We did a job at Bangstown. <laughs> Johnny was supplying the food. He used to bring you more than tea and lunch. And I tell you what, no matter what he lasts, it was like eating medicine. It was like lots of bread 
it was sort of had all sort of rocks in it and stuff. And it was sort of been toasted the day before and then stuck in the fridge and dragged out and heated it up again the next day. And had bits of cheese and all sorts of stuff in it. I don't know what it was. Bits of old meat. Bits of old meat and stuff, yeah. But we had it and we got the job done. And that's the last time we worked with John. Give it up to your elbow, folks. And my young Jimmy was on that job with us as well. Did you have to eat those sandwiches, Jim? Probably. Oh my god. That's why we're still here. They were so healthy you couldn't eat them. Tom Henry, you ready to go, mate? Or ready to come here? Tom Henry, folks. Well, it's a master of all the hair. That was a good, good bit of garlic. I said there, wasn't it, Tom? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming to remember Johnny. Now, Johnny never knew my name. I was always called Tom Henry. Because we worked together with Max and Russell and Tim Connor, John Dengate, a whole gang, and our greatest source of nutrition was Gay, who's here. And Lainey and, and was only very small at the time, but Johnny survived on pints of Guinness and meat pies. So, in honor of Johnny, I'll sing a uh, the Big Ben Pie. So you can all join in, there's a chorus. All among the gravy, all among the crust. Show a little fight, me boys, show a little trust. I can eat a respectable tally, me boys, whenever I like to try. I've known from here to Blacktown as the Big Ben Pie. When I was just a young lad, as silly as could be. Me father took me to one side, these words to see. He said to me, If you want the light of wisdom to listen in your eyes, you'll have to shout for to his beard and eat meat pies. All among the gravy, all among the crust. Show a little faith, me boys, show a little trust. I don't need a respectable tally, me boys, whenever I like to try. I'm known from here to Blackton as the Big Ben Pie. Well, I've had them scalding cold, and I've had them scalding hot. I've had them at the creek ground, sitting on me bar. I've waved me triumph pie and triumphs when the tigers led by nil. And I've thrown them at the coppers on the scoreboard hill. <laughs> all among the gravy, all among the crust. Show a little faith, me boys, show a little trust. I can eat a respectable tally, me boys, whenever I like to try. I'm known from here to Blackton as the big pan pie. And I've had them when... I've often had them e eaten them when the centres starts to sag. I've washed them down with Tui's beer and cans of Tui's flag. Cast your eyes upon me stride, see the greasy stain. Pass me the tomato sauce, here we go again. All among the gravy, all among the crust. Show a little faith, me boys, show a little trust. I can eat a respectable tally, me boys, whenever I like to try. I'm known from here to Blackdown as the Big Ben Pie. <laughs> Just an hour, I can't sing that song without remember Johnny. And the times we had Max in the shelter workshop, there was one time we were painting a sign, I don't know where it was, but it was high up on a plank 
that bended like a banana. We were about 40 feet up. Johnny was beside me. John Dengate was the other side. And I was there. Uh, uh, and Tim Connors was on the other side. And it bent like a banana. And there was no talk of health or safety in those days. And this was after a night full of Guinness. So there you are, Max. That's my memories of John. We'll miss him. I'll miss him. It was here the last time I was with Johnny. We had a f six, five or six pints together. And I walked him home. And that was the last time I saw John. Let him rest in peace with his friend Phil Oaks. Thank you. Keep it going, sir. Tomas, the one over here. Just got a little quick story about Tomas. You know, blokes tell stories and they're not true. I've never done that. Tom Henry told us that his dad wrote the Oxford Dictionary. No, it wasn't the Oxford Dictionary. Sorry, what was it? The Irish Dictionary. Anyway, sure enough, years later, I remembered that lie, and I checked it, and he's, what's your dad's name? Tomaster Walder. Same as you, of course. You couldn't make that up, could you? <laughs>